good morning salams just at the allotment and i just thought i'll do a quick video so i know there's quite a few people who have allotments and their intention is to hopefully <coughs> maybe do something like a um no till or no dig kind of style um but as you know if you're doing it in your garden it's a lot more budget friendly but when you have an allotment space that is huge you can't just buy 10 tons of compost so what is it that you can do um just in the beginning as you probably have maybe really hard dense clay soil and how can you transition it to this but on a budget um so my my advice would be plan on doing something called transitioning meaning that in the first year yes you would dig up the plot just to get the ground softened especially underneath so i always like a fork um level first year aim just to put a sprinkle a little bit of compost on top because again you're trying to cover a whole allotment and that might be um not cost effective so or even maybe the first year you may not even have any compost at all on top you may just have compost when you make a hole and want to plant whatever it is that you're planting so that would probably be first year um, and that is a lot more cost effective um sometimes what i've done in the past is that i've done this and i've bought something called sharp sand which is two pounds a bag and a little bit of sand goes a long way and that just helps break up the clay particles so that they don't clump together and become hard and baked when the sun comes and just helps with drainage so that's another thing that's a bit more cost effective so maybe you will have sharp sand instead because it's two pounds a bag and then um and then you mix it with the clay soil and then sprinkle a little bit of compost on top again just to help and then i want to bring you here to so something like this so this is onions that i've planted i have put a little bit of compost again on top but what i have done is that i've planted my onions a bit more spaced apart than what is recommended on the um on the packet and reason being i've done that is that the thing about clay soil is that it's the most nutritious soil so don't you know let's not um be uh, misinformed clay soil has the most nutrients but the issue with clay soil is is that um one it doesn't hold water as well and especially when the sun is is on clay soil it bakes it hard so my um my advice would be by planting your onions spaced apart uh, every other day once you've watered your area and allowed the water to soak in into the soil every other day just kind of go with a um, something like this it's got like a little fork and just kind of disturb the soil a little bit so you just go through the rolls like this and just you know just to break up that soil particle especially around onions which wants to expand so that's what i'll be doing and then in the next couple of weeks maybe two or three weeks again i'll do it again so this is how let me go to the other side <coughs> right now this is how my soil is looking as you can see it's very it's baking hard in the sun yeah so just disturb it and obviously you can you know take out the weeds in between which makes it easier <coughs> and then in two weeks time what I will then do is, after I've disturbed the soil again, loosen it up, I will add some compost on top. And you realise that each time that you add compost and then loosen up the soil a couple of weeks, add compost, you're going to notice that over time, this whole area would, would improve in terms of the texture of the soil. And it will go from a really hard baked clay 
to something more like this so year two you would realize that this area by your second season inshallah will be a lot much better in terms of to work with the soil so again that's my top tip and then from second from the second year onwards you don't have to dig this area anymore all you need to do is just add compost each year maybe manure in the autumn to let the worms break it down and then in the springtime um you would cover it again so you cover it and then in the springtime you just open it up add a bit more compost and then plant away so you know it is a lot more longer but it's a much more of a patience game but you realize again over time it will look like they're at the back where again you don't have to dig anymore you don't have to turn over and then you could be fully 100 um no dig inshallah